Hey, what's up? I'm Norris and welcome back to another Saw Loan. Now today I just recently dropped my latest Nomi pattern design, which is ME2035, and we'll be working on view A, the polo shirt. Now one of the things I love about this polo shirt is the seamless placket in the front. It has an amazing fit and is perfect for spring and summer. Okay, real quick, before getting started, I want you to know that this is an order of construction video. And if you're new to sewing, or just need a refresher course, I would like for you to visit sewedacademy.com and take advantage of our free trial. Okay, so again, like I said, we will be working on my Nomi pattern, which is ME2035, and we're, we, and we're working on view A, which is the polo shirt. Okay, so the first step, you want to reinforce your stitching line, which is in the front. That's where the open is going to be. And then right in the middle of that, we're going to slash. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. Let me turn it to the side. Okay, just like that. And then now, with right sides facing, you wanna take your continuous lap, and on one side, you want to turn in a quarter of an inch and give it a good press. Now, once you do that, you want to go ahead and align the quarter inch seam allowance with your continuous lap on the opposite side along the stitching line. I'm gonna pin it from the other side just so I can keep an eye on my seam allowance. It's better to do it this way. Now I've made a little marking here for the middle. Okay, and then now we're just going to extend the other part to the other side. Okay, so this is how it looks, and this is how it looks on the other side. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this view is because we get to see the actual stitching on the shirt, which gives us a good guide to go all the way up and stay straight. Okay, so now we're going to head to the machine, and we're going to start at one end, duck back stitch, and then go all the way through until we get to the center. Also, if you look closely, if you look up to the top, the seam allowance is pretty even. But then once we get closer and closer to the center, there's less seam allowance on the actual shirt because it gradually goes into nothing, into a point. So now let's head to the machine and we're going to stitch starting on one end, back stitching at the beginning, going all the way through until we get to the point, and then back the other end. Okay, so gonna backstitch at the beginning and also at the end. Okay, so I'm back from the machine, and then that seam allowance, you wanna press it towards your continuous lap. And then now, we're going to take our back piece, and we're going to stitch our front and backs together at the shoulders. Okay, just like this. Okay, so if you look at the back of the envelope, it says you need 3 eighths of an inch twill tape. I only could find a half inch, this would do. We wanna be placing this along the seam allowance for your shoulders so it won't stretch, okay? So just basically line it up and have how much you need. Trim it off. And then I'm gonna use that to cut my other piece. Okay, so it goes on your seam allowance. Okay, now let's head up to the machine. We're going to stitch down our shoulders using 5 8 7 inch seam allowance. Back stitch at the beginning and also at the end. You 
you want to stitch your other shoulder the same exact way. Okay, so we're back from the machine. Went ahead and stitched my shoulders down. And as you can see, I surged the very end of my um, shoulder seam allowance. And then I press my seams towards the back. And then also I stay stitched all the way around the neckline, which includes the continuous lap, as you can see. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the collar for just a moment. One should be interfaced and one should not be interfaced. And with right size facing, just going to pin a few times. Okay, now we're just gonna head to the machine and we're gonna stitch starting on one side, going up, pivoting across the top, then pivoting one more time down on the other side, keeping the notch side open. And we're going to do that using a five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so while we're still at the machine, we're going to do some under stitching. So, and we're gonna do it to the interface side. So have your interface faced up and then you wanna point your seam allowance to the right like they are right now. And we're basically just going to turn it like this, keeping the seam allowance to the right. And we're just gonna come as far as we can to the edge and where we can't get any more comfortably that's where you want to start. And we're basically just going to stitch on the right side of the seam, but close to the seam, which is called understitching. Okay, now that we did our understitching, let's go ahead and trim our corners and some of the seam allowance. Okay, now we're just going to turn it right side out, point out your corners and give it a good press. And the interface side that was Understitch should roll to the bottom. So go ahead and give it a good press and then also you can base the bottom close before we attach it to our neckline. Okay, so now we're back from the machine. Okay, so we're back from the machine. This is the neckline right here that we will be stitching the collar to. Now the bottom is where you see the understitching where it rolled to the bottom because of the understitching and we're going to place all of our markings and pin our collar to the neckline. Okay, so before we head to the machine, I just wanna point out some very important details, a little bit confusing if you're looking at the instructions. Now on the left side, which is right here on the right, this is the left side, there is a dot. You should have marked your dot here, okay? Now, this right here is the center front, and that's where the left side of your collar will stop, okay? So it's not even touching the continuous lap, all right? So just want to point that out, all right? Because once we do this, and then we do this, it's going to end up right here okay right in a good place but as of right now it's going to be a little off than um, the right side which is on the left right here now the dot for this side is actually on the continuous lap right here you have some of that color on the continuous lap where that big dot is and then on the left side which is right here on the right it's not even touching it so once you understand that you'll be able to pin everything else according to your markings, okay? So let's head to the machine and we're going to stitch all the way around using 3 8 7 inch seam allowance. Like I said, I'm starting on the left side and the left side dot 
is right here just so you know that's the center front and that's where we'll be starting and placing that collar now let's stitch all the way to the other side using 3 8 7 inch seam allowance and then now closing up on the other side as you can see that dot on the right side is basically on the continuous lap so that's why the collar is placed differently on the other side okay so we're back for the machine and we're looking at the front with the front facing up and this is the right side and this is the left side even though it's on the opposite side because we're actually looking at it from the front okay so on my right side we're going to take twill tape and we will be stitching this down but for right now we're going to take it and on the right side which is on the left right here we want it to be right at the edge of that collar okay so i'm just going to walk it around just to see how long i need to get it if you want to just cut a long piece and just sew it on and then cut it off once we get to where we're going you can do that too but i'm just going to go ahead and do it like this and then once we come around to the left side we want the left side to cover over the seam allowance right here on the continuous lap. Okay, right here where that seam is. So I'm gonna make sure it goes over there. And then I'm just going to cut it off. Okay. Now on this side, it's going to extend past the collar on the left, which is right here on the right. And then on the left side here, which is the right side, it's going to stop right at the collar right here. Okay, so let's head to the machine and let's stitch this down. Okay, so we start with the left side, as you can see right here. And the left side, like I said, will extend to the seam of the continuous lap. Okay, and then you only want the edge of your twill tape to touch the edge of that seam allowance, just under that seam allowance, and then we're going to add stitch. If you notice, I switched out my thread to match the twill tape, just so you won't see a different color. And now on the right side, it's supposed to stop right at that collar. So you can see mine is just a little bit longer. So I'm going to stitch it down and then trim off the extra. Okay, so we're back from the machine and I have it turned wrong side out so you can see a little bit better. And then also when I say right and left side is really the right side what you're looking at right now because it's inside out and then this is literally the left okay so now you want to head to your, your pressing table and press down your seam allowance and then on your upper right side right here you want to press that seam allowance down with it and then once you do that you want to fold at your fold line right here And then we're just gonna pin it for right now. Okay, just like that. And then that the fold edge on the continuous lap is going to overlap the stitching, which is right here. Okay. And then once we do that, we're gonna slip stitch all of this. So I'm just going to pin that for right now. And now I'm just going to continue taking that fold line and placing it right across the seam all the way on the continuous lap. 
and it's going to close out that continuous lap. Okay, so on this side, we're not going to fold down the seam allowance. At the top, we're just going to take it on the left side and just fold right over that seam. I'm going to pin. Okay, so now at the top, let me remove this top pin. And now I'm going to slip stitch the upper right corner at the top. Okay, so I went ahead and I closed out the upper right. Okay, now before we slip stitch along our continuous lap here and then also here, we need to go ahead and base down the twill tape. Okay, so just do a basing stitch on the edge of the twill tape on the bottom all the way around on the left side right here where the collar ends, okay? You can stop the basing stitch right there. And then after you finish basing the twill tape down, you wanna go ahead and slip stitch the continuous lap all the way to that seam here. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. As you can see, I went ahead and based the twill tape on the lower edge all the way around until I got to my collar here. And then also I went ahead and slip stitched all the way around on the folded edge on the seam of the continuous lap. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the bottom, which is the fold line. I'm going to overlap it just like this. The left side will extend three-eighths of an inch as of right now because we haven't folded it down yet. So now we're going to head to the machine and you just want to edge stitch right where that fold is. Okay, so do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and edge stitch across the bottom here. And then now on the left side, we're going to take that three-eighths of an inch seam allowance, fold it down. And then we're gonna fold all of this onto itself, just like this. And then now we're just going to slip stitch the top. So go ahead and slip stitch just the top opening right here. And then now that I did across the top, I'm going to also do just right here where you see the twill tape connect to it. Okay, so now let me cut some of the loose threads. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it to the right side here and we're going to stitch right over where we see our basing stitch at. And we're gonna start from one end of the continuous lap all the way through the neckline and then through the other side. Okay, so we're back for the machine. We went ahead and did our top stitching. So now I'm just gonna turn it right sides facing. Then now when you overlap it, it's gonna look just like this. Okay, perfect. So now let's go ahead and attach our sleeves. So just open up and then now we're going to match up your notches and we're going to pin. Okay, so now that I have this pinned, we're going to head to the machine. We're going to start on one end all the way down across to the other side using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. So you wanna pin and sew your other one the same exact way and come back and we'll continue.
Okay, so we're back from the machine. As you can see, I went ahead and attached both of my sleeves. And then I also finished my seam with a serge. And then now, still right sides facing, wrong side out. We're gonna go ahead and pin the side seams. Gonna start at the underarm seam and then my notches. Okay, you want to pin your other side the same way, and then once you do that, head to the machine, and you want to stitch your seam allowance, which is 5 eighths of an inch, starting from the sleeve, all the way through the underarm, and then down to the hem. And I'm also going to finish my seam off with a serge. If you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch, okay? So do all of that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine, and I went ahead and stitched my side seam as you can see with a serge finish and then only thing left to do is to uh, make sure you do your buttonholes that goes on your left side and um, let me undo my pin and then you would just do you would just sew your half inch buttons on the front you have three of them and then last but not least you want to do the hem of your sleeve and then also the hem of the shirt and you're all done. All right, congratulations. Now, I hope you enjoyed this course and feel free to tag me on all of your amazing makes at Norris Down to Ford, Simplicity Creative Group, and Dope Men So Official.